But I think the train has left the station. By this time, there's such expectations and support for this move that it's hard to imagine what the U.S. can provide by way of a big fig leaf uh, to enable him to back down. Uh, it may be politically impossible for him to back down at this point because the U.S. or Israel are not in a position to offer him the kind of things that he would need to back down. Uh, the American position, of course, is difficult because the U.S. really simply cannot win one way or the other. Uh, if it persuades him to back down without offering him something, uh, there will be pervasive anger against the U.S. in the Palestinian areas as well in the Arab world. And we're, of course, entering an era of Arab public empowerment, elections in Egypt coming up in early November, and there will be a lot of anger expressed. If the U.S. fails and ends up vetoing, Neither Israelis nor Palestinians have a unilateral solution. If they had, each one would have done it by now. So the Israelis don't have a unilateral solution. The Palestinians don't. The General Assembly resolution, if it passes without Security Council support, will be primarily moral and political. It will not have far-reaching ramifications on the ground. And the Israelis then will have to assess of whether they're going to uh, in anger assert uh, uh, takes their own unilateral moves such as uh, a further expansion of settlements or uh, some annexation moves of their own uh, that will further anger uh, the international community or uh, then reconcile themselves to the fact that they're both are going to have to go back to the negotiating table. Um, I think it'll be tough in the, if, if, if the scenario goes through as people expect, that is that you have a General Assembly resolution, uh, that the U.S. opposes it, that you don't have a Security Council resolution. We will go through a turbulent period where the Israelis, even at least politically, domestically, they feel they have to do something. Uh, and the Palestinian public and the Arab public will react negatively to that and to the American veto at the Security Council. The Obama administration could preempt the General Assembly debate and put, a, put forth its own ideas for a resolution at the Security Council. or. It could persuade its European powers, European partners, to put forth their own proposal that is even-handed and reasonable along the lines that the international community expects a solution to come out, uh, and then at a minimum not veto it, uh, maybe abstain if not support it. Um, so that, that in theory could be better in my opinion. The problem is that you have such a strong congressional opposition on this issue uh, to any American approach that is opposed by the government of Israel, uh, that it is tough for the administration, which is facing all the other fights right now with our economy, with the job package the president wants to pass, uh, entering into election year, it makes it very difficult. Our politics no doubt intrudes here, no question. This isn't just about an optimal foreign policy choice. It is about navigating the space of our democratic politics as you make the choices that you have to make at the UN.